Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's a new week which means a brand new tutorial for you guys and in today's we are going to be making a tulip copper image. I know it does really sound like that the colour will be a copper colour but it's going to be a really nice and a bright colour. So without further ado, let's begin. If you'd like to see more videos then don't forget to hit that subscribe button or that bell button to receive updates whenever I upload a brand new video. So guys, to make this tulip flower, we're going to need a rolling pin, storage board, these rose petal veiners, they've just got some um, stripes on them, your colour, your icing, and by icing I mean gum paste, um, two ball tools, these are optional. I've also got three sets of peony cutters here from which I'm going to be using this one from this set, these three from this set and the smallest one from the other set so we don't need the rest so you can pop these to one side. These are just peony cutters that I've purchased from Amazon and I will try and find the link um, from there if I still have it because I purchased these um, quite a few years ago. And you'll see when I start making the flower why I need so many cutters. Two brushes here, one's a shader brush and one's just a fluffy brush. Three centimeter foam ball, 20 gauge green floral wire, some scissors and three colors. Apple green, lime green and a rose pink, all by Sugar Flare. You might need some corn flour, your pasta machine, your apple tray and something to sort of stand your flower on. And again, your foam pad is also optional, so you'll see why again in a minute. Sugar glue. You're going to need one of these mini rolling pins again. So let's begin. So firstly, I've got my gum paste. And this is just an orange that I've coloured my gum paste in. But I don't want it in one solid colour. I'm going to add little tints of pink in there. So it has little streaks in. So first I'm gonna add some tracks in it to make it a bit more pliable. And all I'm gonna do is just add little bits of pink into my paste. And that'll just give me little streaks of pink. So you, again, you don't want to add too much. I've just added little bits everywhere. And I'm just going to mix it up. And just twist the paste as I'm doing it. So basically, I'm just folding it in. And then I'm just going to leave it at that so you'll get really nice sort of streaks in there of the other colour and when you go to make your petals these will look really really nice so I'm just going to roll it into a bowl and just pop it into my bag and just take my gloves off and get ready to start making the petals so now we're going to go ahead and take a small little piece and just cut out our petals I'm not going to blend it too much through your pasta machine on the thinnest and first we're just going to cut out one little small little petal to cover the center of the bowl and you can use any petal you prefer for that one and then we're going to cut out six of these for our first and second rows and then a further five or six depending on how much you overlap your petals and with the petal I'm just gonna 
thin it out. Add some glue onto our foam ball on the top head and just stick that down. And you can stick this down either way on whichever side you want because it's just there to cover the bowl. Now for our raw, we're just going to roll it out, making the petal slightly bigger from all sides. And we're just going to leave it there to settle for a little while whilst we do our remaining petals. So once you've done all six of your petals, we're just going to go ahead and start veining them. And all you're going to do is just pop them into the vein and just apply pressure until you get that really nice texture on the outside. And you're going to do that for all six. So if you need to apply a bit more pressure, just stand up. The thinner your petals are, the more um, veining you'll have. Then once you've done all six, all we're going to do is pop them into our apple tray, just like that. We don't need to thin them out even more or frill the edges. We're just going to put them into the apple tray and just curve them in and press it down from the middle so you get that nice little cup shape. And that way when we go to put them on our bowl, it'll, they'll be curved in. So this flower resembles a peony, a closed peony, an awful lot. So just try to keep it flat, but with the curve at the tips. So once they're more or less dried, we're going to take two petals to start off with, cover the bottoms left and right sides. Up to about half and just add them on right in the middle and just drag it down from the sides so it's covering the middle and just cut that in half put one down and then overlap the second bit and the same for the other side so exactly right in the middle overlapping slightly a little slit at the bottom put one down and then overlap and you want to really make sure they're both together right in the middle so they are tight from both sides. Once you've done your first one, we're going to go ahead and add the same two petals but on the opposite sides now. And again you want to coat the bottom left and right and a little bit of the middle section. And this time the opposite sides. So slightly higher, right in the middle. So you only want a little bit of a gap. 
stretch one side down, hold that in place and then stretch the other. And then just snip and fold. And you want it sort of completely closed in the middle as well. And we'll do one more row like this. Again on the opposite sides with our remaining two petals. So we'll wait for this to completely dry before moving on to our next row. But that's how it should look once you've added this one. So guys, now that our first two rows are dried, we'll go ahead and prepare our third row, our buffer row, for which again, we're just going to roll it out and we're still using the same size. You're going to need five petals. And we're just going to do exactly the same that we did with our previous ones. Whilst we're waiting for the petals to dry in the apple tray, we'll go ahead and cut out our next layer. And then we're going to cut out five of this size petal just in this design. And we're going to use three in the style that is already being cut. And we're going to use the remaining two. And we're going to flip it over and use that side of the petal. And you can do one extra just in case. As it all depends on how much you overlap. And then we're going to go ahead and cut out this sort of style. And again, this is another peony cutter. As there's quite a few varieties with this flower. So just cut out how many you've got left of the icing and then we'll do more. So it's good to have a few extras. I'm actually going to go ahead and start putting these in the apple tray as well because they are taking quite some time to dry. As it has a lot of tricks in there. So once again roll it out. making the petal slightly bigger and thin and then vein it as normal and from this point onwards what you can do is get your foam pad and should you wish to do this you can if not you can skip it and just drag it up from the top tips just to give it that more curve and then you can put it into your apple tray just like that and make sure you alternate the petals in designs so the, the previous petal that we've just done this little cut bit is on the right hand side as we flipped it over and we're just going to alternate so guys, I've just got ready my next two rows and I've just popped them into the apple tray for them to dry. Our first row is dried. And again, you just want to coat the bottom left and right sides this time with a little bit in the middle. And 
and we're just going to keep cutting the five petals and we're just going to apply them a little bit higher than our previous row and on a join and we're just going to drag it down as we did but we don't want to drag it down too much because we now we want to start opening the flower up as it, this flower has got a lot of layers and again just cut it from the middle and just overlap and then overlap that by a half again at the same height and then snip it from the bottom and overlap so you'll be able to see I've not kept it too high just a little bit and then overlap that Again, we're just going to wait for this to dry as well before adding our next layer. So, first one slits there, next one slits on the left hand side, and so on. So, just make sure you add them on correctly. At the same height, or slightly, slightly, slightly above it. And on a join and again just snip up and only put one down just like that and then the next petal the overlap I'm gonna overlap it slightly a bit more because I've got six petals that I want to add just to make it a little more fluffier And once you've added this row, you should have something similar to this. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to go put it in my oven just to speed up the drying process as they're a little bit soft. They're not falling off, they're holding their shape, but I do want it to dry fairly quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and go pop it in my oven for around 5-10 minutes just so it's completely dry and then I'll come back and add the next layer. <laughs> 